looks like we have got connection and we have got excellent connection apparently hello everybody welcome back to seven days to die today we're gonna be doing something a whole heck of a lot different as soon as i can get the coordinates to where we are going because um for those of you who missed the recent episode of the pvp section uh let me see if I can. I that one you. Okay. Hang on just a second. If I'm not leaving anybody out in the cold, assuming I can do this without it making weird noises. Yes. Um where's that? Not that, not that, not I got it. I can hear me making stuff in my pocket and it's loud. There we go. Um Copy! There we go. There we go. Found it. Found it. Uh and paste like this. There we go. Anyway, um, if you have missed that particular video, that is PvP night on the server. And it was kind of an impromptu thing that we did. But uh, it happened again. I'm not going to say whose fault it was, but it happened again. Let me get out of there because that's, that's kind of annoying. Um, uh, we got into a PvP fight yet again. And there may or may not have been a bit of damage that happened around our bases. So we've decided this time that what we're going to do is we're going to go out in the desert. We're going to find ourselves a cowboy town and turn it into our PvP arena. Uh, Murder Hobo, how you doing? Chaplin, how you doing? Brett, how you doing? Kimberly, how you doing? How's everybody doing? Um, Let me fix the screen here. Now we're probably getting the sound, but not actually the capture. Let me fix that. There we go. There. Now you can hear the annoying me making stuff in my pocket sound too. Okay, uh, where, oh where? Um, you set the location. Okay. Nice. If I can stop hearing my stuff. Show it on the map, which is... How far away is that? Um... Four point... Oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay. I will be saving that waypoint. And... I need to track that waypoint because I actually need to see where I'm going. I'm taking a whole bunch of supplies out there. We're going to take a look at the town and we're going to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, but the concept is, is setting it up basically like a war zone, and then we're going to stick boxes inside with loot that people can find. And the loot somehow or another is going to have to change, and then basically it's going to be about skill against skill, not who found the better weapon. But, of course, people have put perk points into certain weapons, and um, obviously there are certain folks on the server who are quite a bit higher on levels, so they're going to have a better advantage. But um, we'll see how it goes. That will be awesome, because that is a long drive. Uh, what else do we need? I have got a whole lot of building materials. I have got that. I probably could take a couple of repair kits, and I have got food. Is that good? Do I have any more cobblestone? I feel like that out of all the stuff that I'm going to run out of, I feel like that's going to be it. At the very least, I could take a couple more of those. Uh, let me leave... No, let me leave two stacks for the horde base, just in case we do decide to do a screamer thing later. Uh, we turned off the horde knights because we started doing PvP stuff, plus... If anybody wants to fight a horde, kind of easy to accidentally, on purpose, draw in screamers right now, so people can get the hordes that they want, if they're wanting to do some leveling, or looting, or whatever. It's pretty easy to do that. Uh, we're just basically kind of experimenting until the next, um, experimental. Not experimental, because we're not going to change it over before it goes out of experimental. The next, um, the next alpha version comes up. And then we're going to fix the server. Oh, 
Oh, thanks, and I'm glad you got to the second stage of it. That's nice. One step closer to getting that job back. That's that's good. That's very good. Camilla, Stan, how you doing? Poor barn. Yeah, there 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 may have, or may not have been a bit of a bit of problems. <laughs> The barn may or may not have seen better days. Uh, for those of you who cannot watch uh, Twitch, I will be bringing out the next PvP video too, but I'm currently in the middle of a project that's kind of taking precedence until I can get some headway. Uh, but it, it, it is on the agenda. It will be coming to the YouTube, but we've had to condemn some of the properties around us because uh, there may or may not have been a few problems. I'm not going to point any fingers. Um, but there may or may not have been any been problems around here, so <laughs> we're going to take our PvP stuff to another town away from other folks. Now wait on the ride. Uh, let me see how we're doing on each one of these. Okay. Yay! Uber's on the way! I'm just gonna stand here and do like this. A hitchhiking in the apocalypse just doesn't seem like a good idea, does it? Maybe I can get some of my experience back. <laughs> my experience has seen better days. Um, you know what? I probably should go uh, party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I'm gonna go inside and fill up on my food and stuff instead of filling up on the stuff that I'm planning to take down there to eat while I'm working. Uh, let's drink these. That should top that off. And... Food and water should be completely full for at least five minutes. At least five minutes, right? Oops, did it again. Uh, Uber survived seven days to die. <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey, how you doing? I am doing okay. Just waiting on my Uber to show up so we can go work on some stuff and things. I don't have a flying vehicle yet. So nice to be with friends again, <laughs> Chaplin. Just don't go exploding your friends. There wouldn't be problems. Don't start nothing. There won't be nothing. Not saying it's him, but let me just put it this way. Kind of like with Clark Kent. Nobody has seen the skirt and Chaplin at the exact same time. Yeah. Wonder if DoorDash survived? That would be nice to know. Guys, we are two minutes into the stream. I'm hungry already. That's fine. I'm gonna build up an appetite for eating something later. <laughs> Yesterday after the stream, I went to Wendy's, got a spicy chicken. I had regrets. He is still 3k away. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start walking. I mean, I've got a bike. I could ride a bike. I could start riding my bike. There we go. Now that I think about it, I probably should have had some gas. Oh, well. I'm sure there'll be at least one or two cars I can tear up along the way and get some more.
the Jack in the Box has a new chicken tater melt. It's glorious. That sounds glorious. Chicken and taters? How can you go wrong? Their bacon bourbon burger? I have not tried that one. I keep thinking I can eat spicy foods and I really can't. That's my issue. But it's so good. <laughs> like jalapenos. Love me some jalapenos, but oh my gosh. Now oh, wait, what? Uh chap tell them the new Pepsi flavor? What new new Pepsi flavor? What? Uh should I be asking? Maple syrup Pepsi? Who put the Canadians in charge of the Pepsi production? Who did that? Probably gonna be the nicest Pepsi ever, but still, who did that? Somebody here? Ah, oh, okay. I hop and Pepsi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. I mean. Hey, Lynxie, how you doing? How you feeling today? I don't know if they have a Jack in the Box in South Georgia. I don't think so. It, it doesn't sound familiar. Wee. You know, the graphics on these vehicles, there's something really, really weird about it because it doesn't look like either one of us is in the driver's side. It looks like both of us are snugged into the center area, sitting on each other's laps. Like there are actually ghosts driving this vehicle and we're afraid to touch them. Rough start today. We call it Jack in the Crack? That's not the same thing. Now yeah, tacos it used to cost 99 cents, now it's two for two dollars. Yeah, well, that's that's ever everywhere. <laughs> On the shark model you're sitting beside me, uh, behind you. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the shark model at all. It looks like we're fly, flying a jeep. Chitty chitty bang bang style. Um, We've got a Taco Bell that used to be able to buy uh, hard shell tacos for 99 cents. Now it's like two for two bucks, and, which is pretty close. Or one for two dollars, rather. It's one seventy nine for one or something like that. It's a running joke. Oh, kind of like we call Taco Bell Taco Hell around here. Bit of a juke. Well, this is certainly a long way away from anybody else's house getting messed up. Did we just run out of gas? Or whatever. Or, oh, the Sharky doesn't actually use gas, does it? Never mind. You stopped moving, and I was looking down at the gas thing. I was like, uh oh, is this the point where we fall out of the sky? Y'all call it Taco Hell, too? <laughs> I tell you what, when they make that party pack of nachos, oh my gosh, it is so good. There's a traitor here. At least that's what that looks like. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Thank you for the red. Okay. Uh, hold on, let's take a peek. It kind of looked like there was two sections. I need to see the north and south or whatever. Uh, that section... Is it along the same road? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am fixing to uh, do some admin privileges stuff. So you guys are going to have to forgive me because this is actually going to require me doing a little bit of preparatory thinking. And I do that best. Uh, give me just a second. Okay, I put all of my building materials there. I, As far as all of that stuff goes, I am not cheating. I'm just... I'm just popping up, as you can see. My food, my water is all already full. Okay. This is the part that I need to do. Uh, north and south. Okay, if we have got two different teams, uh, we can have one side set up here, and that's going to be like their safe zone where they can respawn and come back into the game. And then this side can be the other team where they respawn and come into the game. So that's this end. Hang on. I need it approximately the same distance away. It looks almost like a mirror image. If we can push it back to here. Right here is one edge, and that makes this one over here. Uh, the second edge, like that. And basically what we can do is we are going to box in this whole town. Uh, probably running right behind these buildings and have like a red and a blue team basically and they can put their stuff in either one of those directions and this main strip right here is basically where the fight goes on the only issue is it seems like these are definitely on one side of town and if you're trying to fight to get into a particular area, say maybe the goal is down there? Hmm. We would need loot scattered in specific areas. Okay, so the star of the town is here. All the way to the other end. Now you want nachos? Oh man. They've got the party pack of nachos. It's got jalapenos and they got it's got a pico de gallo on it and all kinds of stuff and it is so good. But they sell it like once a year. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, it would be better if those two sections were like in the center of town, but they're not. So. What are we doing? Like a... They have to come from their section all the way down here, find something or do something here, and then make it all the way back. Kind of as a goal kind of situation. Uh, maybe... Screamers. Uh-oh, he's got screamers! So, okay, 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 okay. Uh, that is where they spawn in. They're completely safe zone. The, what would you call the demilitarized zone? Basically, it's whenever you hit this area, you know you're in danger again, right? Right before walking into town. So, danger zone on this side, and... Okay, is there a water tower on this side? There's something right outside of town. Right here. 
danger zone here. This is where people start becoming targets again. So they can hit this section, they can spread out that way, that way. I'm hitting my microphone again. I've been doing that a lot lately because I've been gesturing a lot lately. I don't know why. Guys, what's wrong? What's wrong with me? Okay, you think that works? Does that work? Is that good? We've got... We need to flip a coin, north and south. On. I was thinking entrances on north, east, south, and west for up to four teams, loot up and get equipment, and then hunt within the walls built around the town. Uh, four teams? Do we have enough people to come in to do four teams? You're part of an admin group for the uh, for Imperion. Safe zone, combat zone. Exactly, yeah. Start off with the base game weapons. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. I don't know. I'm thinking two teams. With the way this town is set up, it seems like it's perfectly positioned to have two teams. I mean, we've got one group that can respawn back here, but it gives them a chance to where they have to fight to get back into it. They can't just, you know, lay down a bedroll in the center of town and suddenly show back up straight into the battle again, you know? They have to make it back in and then find some way of getting into the town. So if this is demilitarized zone, the... Yeah, the wall would start here. Uh... Or do I put the wall closer? The you know, loot boxes should be random bundles. I think the random bundles are judged according to what level you are, though. Aren't they? I have no idea how the random bundle thingy majigs work, actually. Uh... Okay. What we can do... All we can do is this is just behind each one of the areas. Give enough room for people to use the back of the buildings. For escapeways, put it that way. We'll do this side as well. Uh, right here. Okay, and what we can also do is there's going to be a couple of things that I'm going to add in this weekend that are probably going to be more decorative than anything. We'll probably put in like some sandbags and stuff like that too. Bundles aren't based on anything. Okay. Maybe make it a box. Wall off each team's start zones. Yeah, we should definitely put walls around everybody's start zones, make it like a particular building. As the, nobody can target these areas anyway, so... Um, like, we could put it in any one of these buildings, but we could put a wall around it, or at least a wall separating the town from this section. I don't think if you have a scope you can even see over here. Hang on. Let's test this, because we definitely need to know whether or not that's a thing. If I was a bad guy sitting on a roof, could I shoot somebody spawning in? Yeah, I probably could. I can definitely get them right here in the demilitarized zone if somebody was actually wanting to do that. Uh, 
So you'd have to be careful as soon as you hit that line right there because you could definitely be seen. Re-outfitting, refreshing. Uh, if anybody wanted to sell their goods here, we could probably do those too, but that might make it off-centered depending on who is on whose team. You brought paint. Uh, we need a red team, blue team, pick a side, that kind of thing, I think. And let me check this side. If I stood, say, over here, actually, I think I was further back, over here, can I see? Yeah, I can definitely see people coming in. So there needs to be sections. As soon as they hit that section, we need to put in, like, a barriers or something like that people can hide behind so that they can sneak back into town. Things to break their break line of sight, you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, sure, south, here, what we can do, you know, I should have just went ahead and made some concrete blocks or something like that, that would have made this a whole lot faster, but I didn't. Three, four... Uh, uh, uh. Right there. The wall can start there. Then after they get to this zone... Need the XP anyway. Hey, 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 hey. Just wait. I, I will be getting the experience, dead gummit, eventually. Okay. This is the area where you need to be careful. I've got... Um, we can do... Okay. Say, I'm coming up from the demilitarized zone. This is where I can start getting sh shot at. I'm looking at rooftops. At rooftops. I would probably come in on this side, but this wall needs to... Diagonally connect maybe with that side that's not offering a whole lot of break lines everybody knows exactly where the other team is going to funnel in at i don't like that hang on let me rethink this back there safe when you hit here you're a target again so from here um This is where the wall needs to start, but it needs to go further outside of town, I think. Do we actually need a wall? As long as we all understand that we have to stay in this town, like put up pillars, everybody needs to be within this zone kind of thing. You know? Instead of... Oops. Instead of doing that and wasting like 5,000 resources... We do this. Um, and if we have, for some reason, anybody who wants to do stupid things, like try to come into the other team's territory, we can put turrets up there to shoot anybody coming in from the opposite team. Yeah, the, the, it's a good marker for the PvP, but that's a lot of, uh, since we're out in the middle of nowhere, we're not really having to stop ourselves from uh, venturing into another section of town, as long as we know where the PvP marker is. Say, over here. Uh, we could actually make these, like, light posts almost, maybe? Well within sight from each other. Burning barrels, maybe, to attract some screamers in every now and then. Something. Oh, 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 oh. We 
we could just paint areas to mark the safe zones. Yeah, that, I think that's probably the main thing we need to do is put a wall between the PvP area and the safe zones, which are going to be down each side of the road. So where they can't shoot at, that needs a wall specifically stating so nobody can be like, Oh, I didn't know you couldn't shoot here. Yes, you definitely cannot shoot there. You have to, no bedroll camping. There we go. And then, what, right here? Right there, and probably this section of town. This could probably come back just a little bit right here. Uh, and then to this side. Chaplin, are you having fun with your screamer hordes? Okay, and over here, over here. We probably need to put a sign coming into town just in case anybody gets lost or confused or whatever. They don't accidentally come into this town trying to strip the town for stuff. Which they shouldn't be, but just in case there's any confusion. There we go. And... Right there. No, 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 no. Right there. Three, four... Is that good? Yeah, no, nah, I can't. I can't see this one. Hang on. It needs to be out here, out of the trees. Uh, I can see that one. I can see that one. Let's go right here. Oh my gosh. Way. Uh, bam, how you doing? Um. Centurion, how you doing? I don't know. Are we saying that the the bundles work off of loot stage or no? Because if I'm not mistaken, it has to do with the name on it as to what you're going to get out of it, right? Does that work? Okay, I will be going through... I don't mind doing, like, trees and stuff on the outskirts, but I do not want trees inside. Uh, you need to come out of the ground. I don't want you growing back. Just, like, a couple... That wasn't a bad spot. That one might work. Okay, what about over here? Machine's broken, someone shot it. What machine? They're legendary. There are legendary that get tier 6 stuff, but does it give tier 6 good stuff or does it give tier 6 crappy stuff? Is the question. Uh, Manaxum? I'm not sure if I said that right. Has subscribed? Thank you so much for subscribing. Okay, and. That one. Okay, guys, I need ideas. First things first, we need to go through and do the boring thing of getting the blocks in, uh, which means I need to find my bike. We're going to go ahead and get the pillars made so they can be painted. And then we're going to work on basically 
decorations, and we also need to clear the zombies out of the town, which they're eventually going to come back, but we're going to have to clean the zombies out. Uh... Go down here and set something up in here. Knock, knock. Hello. Uh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Before I do this, I'm not clearing zombies with that on. Um. Okay. I don't want anybody watching later on saying, ah, she's cheating. She hit the Q button. Because I'll do it accidentally. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to do. Knock, knock. Ew. Lutz. Ah, uh, tier six steel spear. I found a bar. Uh, we are gonna have to shape one of these buildings into something useful. Uh, I don't know whether or not there's anybody in the server who has not used their land claim. But each section could probably stand from having a land claim in it. Sadly, the multiple land claim thing does not really work. Knock, knock. Uh, okay. Uh, this side is clear. <laughs> we are going to need... I don't know, would it just be easier to build our own building so we don't have to worry about it accidentally respawning? DoorDash. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you. Nice. Anything else before I head to you guys? Um. Depends. What? What you wearing? Let me sound like one of those 90s movies peoples. 90s movie guy. What you wearing? Oh, I found a, a, a foods. Pants. It's a family show. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh. Mm. Look at all of that cement, dude. Yes. Come on, thick. In that cheek. Okie dokie. Most of the zombies cleared from this area? I did not bring any letters. Probably should have brought letters because we need to put like one team on this side, one team on the other side. Uh, I can turn that off now. Hang on. Too high. All the way up there. And then... Let's do this. Nope. Wait, yeah. No. There we go.
Is that good? Yes, no, maybe not the same height. Three, one, two, three. Oh man. Uh -uh. Like that. Yes. Where's my bike? Thank God, I did not grab the cobblestone, dude. Just gonna upgrade these to concrete because there's the occasional explosion that may or may not happen. I don't want anything to happen to our landmarks and you know stuff like that. How many people are usually active on the server? About five or so at a time. Uh, it's usually pretty quiet, you know? It doesn't get too terribly complicated. Uh, but we do have a strict rule of if you're going to engage in the PvP, a warning has to be done first. That way it gives people an option to do the, uh, no, right now I'm on here grinding for materials. Please don't shoot me. Okay, and then we go across. Um, let me back up, because every single time I do this, I measure, I measure, I measure, and then I cut, and I realize I didn't measure right. So, you know what? If I messed it up, I messed it up, guys. That's That's just how it is. How you doing? Let's see. Been a minute. How you doing? Oh, uh, we also need to do something else. Um, Dinker do needs a sheriff's office. Where should that be? Maybe over there at the other end? You know, down here at this end? Seems like the perfect place over here. That way if anybody gets stool bitch, she can take them outside and beat their butts. Uh, 
here's the question. Are you gonna fall? Should I go up one more, or...? Yeah, we'll do it like this. Okay. Please do not collapse while I'm up here. Yeah, we definitely need the the sheriff's office for dinkers. But if she's going to be the judge, I think she should be at that end. Um, yeah. Uh, down here somewhere. We got the north and we got the south and then we've got the the sheriff in between seems like a good one okay uh that one's ready for its um thing uh we do need to put in a wall or some kind of visual obstruction between the town and this area so nobody can keep an eye on it At least to the backs of the buildings, maybe? Back here? So... Yeah. And keep that doorway open. That way if somebody wants to do like some kind of tricky maneuvers to get into maybe that side of town or whatever. They can try it. But once they make it beyond this door, uh, it's kind of, you know, all hands on deck and don't get your booty shot off kind of situation going on past that door. I don't want anybody walking out this door. I wasn't outside of the zone! Yes, you sure. were. Well, technically they have to pass that zone in order to be, you know, you know what I mean. Do I need to make it this high? Hmm. What about... Okay, okay, okay. Like that. Is that going to block anybody's line of sight? Hang on. Okay, if I'm a sniper and I am sitting over here. It's really not blocking any type of line of sight. I don't think I actually have range to shoot anybody, but I would be able to tell if somebody was running from there. Of course, if we snug up against the wall, they're not going to tell exactly where the person's coming out at. They can come out through there, through there, and I'll probably put another one on the other side, maybe? I mean, they technically can't go until they pass that line. Doesn't mean they can't be watched, though, you know? Uh... Oh, jeez. So, I, I don't think from there it's really going to make much of a difference what size I put here, but I do need to make sure that there's plenty of ways for people to get in and out that don't include just walking through the front door, because then people are definitely going to know where somebody's coming out 
could wind up with people camping. So let's do it like that. We have that side. And let's go out a bit on the other side. Maybe do another door here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, give several different areas for people to come in and out of this building. As long as people don't hide inside the safe zone and shoot outside of it. Uh, nobody's allowed to engage as long as they're inside their safe zone. As a matter of fact, they have to get outside of the non-safe zone. This is specifically for that. They're gonna shoot, they need to get into the combat area. some learning elixir. Give me a whole lot of levels doing this. Um, I mean, guess technically you could come around here. And from here I can see one or what? I can see that one and... Wait, where's my other line? Okay, that one. Is that the one I could see already? Hang on. Alright, let me put another one here. These need to be upgraded and then painted because they they disappear along the sight line. Okay, let me see if I can see it now. Okay. That one... I feel like there needs to be one right there. There is one right there. This tree is in the way. Hang on. Uh, taking out another tree. Sorry, do not regrow, please. Don't regrow. Is that better? That one, that one, that one. And then that line, so they can they have to get all the way up to here, which means being very, very careful not to be spotted coming back into the PvP zone. Which means wall here. Do each one of them three wide, maybe? Need to make it taller though. Hang on. Okay, here's a spot. One, two, three. There's a spot. Okay. I'm going to need you to move, little bush. Uh. And drop that right there. Okay, that gives me plenty of places here. If I was to run out over there, I could hide behind any of those if I come out of here. Pop out here. I've got to worry about that house. Uh, I would probably go this way. Ah, dang it. It's like the biggest paintball arena in the world in seven days. Okay, so I would have this area and I could go to any of those. Watch and make sure nobody sees my approach, you know. And then from here... Two, 
three, one, two, three. And we could probably hide some other, you know, various ways of blocking people's vision. You know, just random stuff. Maybe even stick mannequins inside this non-safe zone. Stick mannequins over here to confuse people. If they're not paying attention, they're just going to shoot up a mannequin. Uh, okay, if you come out here, watch those zones. Here, watch those zones. Okay, now if we come out this side, there's not as much town on this side as there is the other side, thankfully. So, we would go all the way to... Okay, here's a natural path. Right there. Uh, what about here? Yeah. Bedrolls. Oh yeah, that's probably a good idea. We are a long way away from home. The door there. Oh boy. Nighttime guys have already come out. And that one right there, he's a bit of a... a Ammo hog right there? I, I, I don't really want to have to fight that dude. Okay. Got a door there. But a door here. And of course, down here at the end. I don't even think I went that far down on the other side, so I don't think we really need to do that far this way either. Ow, 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 ow. I just ran into a cactus. Oh, right there? Yeah. I say turn zombies off while you're constructing the zone, but I also know there are people who don't want to be bored and have nothing to fight. Yeah, it, we're just going to leave the zombies on. It, it'd be a pain to turn the zombie spawn off and then turn it back on because then the game is like, I don't know what you're asking me to do here. It's like areas have to be reset if you try to do that. did this and that screamer number one I saw a dude I think how you doing whoa dude just lost an arm thank you She's actually dead. Never mind. Ma'am, don't do it! I'm reloading! Thank you! Let me hurry up and get this stuff upgraded before it gets broken.
Oh, okay. Thing was being silly for just like a split second. apologize some people are probably not going to find this entertaining but uh, if you're interested in doing PvP and stuff it could give you ideas on what to do for your own PvP area. Also I am completely open to suggestions. It's doing like a little bit of lag. It's not wanting to upgrade, right? I try doing it this way. There we go. Okie dokie. This area has been sealed off. Let's go ahead and get these guys situated. Probably gonna need more materials than this. I think he said he set up production areas, so that's good. There we go. A few sounds that go along with Alpha 20 that they kind of messed up a little bit. Just a bit. Hmm. Hey, you're great. How you doing? Yeah, we would have to shut down the server in order to do it. it. Wouldn't just be like a type something in. Okay, each one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six tall. Um, we probably need something like some wood burning, uh, the burning barrels, forged iron and wood. Okay, we're gonna have to keep account of how many of these things we have. We can make some burning barrels and stick them on top of them. That way it raises the heat map and brings in more zombies because there's nothing more exciting than having a PvP match and all of a sudden there's 5,000 screamers. put the others at. Okay, from here, if I were running out of here, I would go snake. Ah! Danger noodle! Don't use the ammo. Armor piercing ammo on the snake. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna be over encumbered. I'm, I'm gonna be over encumbered. I am over encumbered. Okay. Okay, if I was coming out of here, I would probably go here. Ah! Flag. No! Don't do it. Three. One. Damn it! Go where I wish for you to go, not where you think I want you to go. Oh, 
Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, we've got that one. Now... That building right there could obscure some stuff, so I'll probably just move another one to where? Over here? That sounds serious, dude. No chance of raising the heat map with that. I'm gonna call in screamers in a minute. <laughs> Dingo was the distraction. Okay. Alright, uh, we've got this area. Oh, we've got that one, that one. Probably one over here in case we want to go towards that side of town. Where's my line at? Right there. So right here, somebody could be hit. Let's put another line here. Two, three, four, five, six. a pretty good thing right there, you know? Gives plenty of places to hide, plus I'm gonna work on a bit more of this outside of it. I'm, I'm not gonna pull any of our resources to do the next part of it. It's gonna be adding in some aesthetics. stuff. But if I can go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing on this one side, you don't actually have to watch me do the other side. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, all of those need to be painted though. And what about this? Uh, since people can be shot, I don't think I need to make this any thicker. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. These should definitely be six. Good. 
go. Holy walk, how you doing? Really hard to type into chat and gyro at the same time. And if you're using the fuel saver, probably very, very hard. Yeah, I would assume so. Okay, uh, this side is done for that stuff. I'm going to set down all of the stuff that is server side, that is character related, that people have created, or whatever. Because I'm pissing a fool from the creative menu and I don't want them getting mistaken. Uh, all of... I may not have food on me, but that's not exactly what I'm talking about here. I don't need that. Get out of my inventory. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, there's just a couple of things. I'm already in there. What I actually want... No. What I actually want are the mannequins. One stack of each. Just to make it a little confusing, you know what I'm saying? People are not paying attention to what they're supposed to be paying attention to. They're going to wreck house on a, on a mannequin instead of a person. In which case they're wasting their ammo. Now let's hide one behind the tree, yeah? Uh, uh, come on. There you go. There, I didn't, I don't have any of the stuff, so wait on that. Just wait on that. Uh. Sounds like something's going on out there, you know? Okay, is that confusing enough? Hang on. Let's... Let's go see... Uh, yeah. Let's go see if those guys can even be seen. Yeah. They're not really that confusing, actually. <laughs> Never mind. Uh... And they're just there. Unless someone does like a split second shot, they're probably not going to waste too much ammo shooting the wrong thing. Okay, okay. But that that does also tell people they're in the, they're in that zone, you know. And then one here and one there, and we will call this section okay. Here and here. Is that good? Yeah, kind of creepy, kind of cool. Leaving it like that. Okay, for the next thing, uh, I'm, I'm gonna need a storage container. I need some of my wood back. Hang on. Turn that off. Somebody thinks I'm pulling extra stuff. I'm, I'm actually just pulling stuff I can only get that way. Um. your storage. No, I don't want to make 400 of them. I want, what, one? Thank you. Give me that. And for now, I'm just going to put these guys right here, so I don't have to go back into that menu to pull those things out again. Um, okay, now I can worry about driving around and getting these guys upgraded. 
right here. Can you put armor on a mannequin? Sadly, no. I wish that was a thing. I would not only could you, you know, save your whatever outfits that you wanted a certain way, especially with the upcoming the new alpha that they're talking about is gonna have a um, a particular type of clothing helps you with particular types of things. Like, supposedly, there's supposed to be a farming outfit to make it better for getting your seeds and stuff next time. Uh, sadly, they didn't put the outfits out for that at the same time they put out the changes they were supposed to make it viable. Um, it would be nice if the mannequins could keep up with your extra sets of clothes or your extra sets of specialized armor. That would be awesome. Can you paint a mannequin? No, sadly. Chap, ask a question in, in game. Want my spare what? Oh, that's how you talk with friends globally and stuff. I never knew how to do that. How do I scroll back through the conversation? What happened? I missed it. How do I scroll back through conversation, guys? I don't know. Just scroll up. Oh. So I knew that. I do tutorials on this game. Hey, did you know that there's a map function that's been there since Alpha 19? I mean, Alpha 18 that I just found? Yeah. Hmm... So is a block considered a player block if it's an upgraded one that was already there? I don't think so. I think you actually have to lay it down. I'm not actually sure about that one, though. That one would have to be tested. I, I, I don't know that one. Where are the boxes? What boxes? The boxes with the mannequins? They're against the wall. Uh-oh, I don't have the rest of my stuff on me. I'm missing a box. There are so many flying things. <laughs> I wonder if we should be going around and reinforcing some of these buildings so we don't accidentally collapse them and lose the whole town. Because we exploded things, you know? But that's kind of the reason why we're creating this town, is so we don't tear up our own town. Oh, yes. Sorry, my bad. Uh, this down here should be the sheriff's area somewhere. Like a, a, a building right here. Hmm. 
Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Okay. That one's done. Oh my gosh. Two, three, four, five. You know, that's the only one I've managed to put so many on. And the rest I just made too short. Now, should we do burning barrels on top of these? Or should we do, like, lanterns so that they actually produce light? They don't produce light from far away, but adding to the heat map could make the game a bit more interesting by calling in the occasional screamer. What do you guys think? Six. Okay, I did that one right. Screamer? Yeah. Lanterns, no screamers? Spotlights? <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, also, people are probably wondering why I'm not playing on the TNT server. Right now, there's somebody working on a build. So we are patiently waiting. That's all. The server is not gone. It shall be back. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay. And then do these. One, two, three, four, five. This is like some really messed up version of Sesame Street here. Has everybody now learned how to count to six yet? Now if you put if you put spotlights on all these, it's gonna take a lot of wires and stuff. Got a workbench and some stuff to make some uh, barrels. Uh, I'm still gonna put them in the town. <laughs> they are still going in the town. Two, three, four, five, six. Don't need the top one. Perfectly normal. For the apocalypse, that's perfectly normal. Um, I think I probably need to move that one in, right? Light one outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish. That works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is normal? Uh, in the apocalypse, I think anything is normal, really.
You have not been paying attention to the math lessons. Dang, gum it. I have failed you. Okay, I think that's all of them. Who's got the paint? And a paintbrush. Who's got paint and a paintbrush? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, paint? Uh, paint. <laughs> uh, paint. Torches? Hmm. Just found a bedroll and a fire. I haven't even laid down a bedroll yet. Community build area. Where's the... There's a community build area? What? Is that what was going on back? Oh, jeez. I just ran over a person. I think somebody used to live here. Where? All I see is this. That's a... <clears throat> Where? <laughs> Where? Guys, I don't know what you're talking about. Where are you? I have zombie sounds. Over by Brett. Okay. Ah. Oh, geez. Okay. Brett Tech Labs and Capco. If I take something out of one of these chests, does that mean I'm indebted to one or the other of companies? Because I don't like this proposition. Okie dokie. What we shall do... Uh, now the only problem is, is I want to be able to make sure it's evident which side is the red side and which side is the blue side. Uh, team colors? You just saw the sheriff's office. Is this a painting sim or shooting? Release the skirt. I'm not sure if you want him to release the skirt. It's like asking someone to release the Kraken. Mm. No. Oh, what I'm doing right now, guys, is not painting sim it's this is what we're doing for the next video that we are going to be doing so i am quickly showing you guys by doing one side of it um past this point is bad so did you okay Did you shoot the sheriff? 
Uh, no, I didn't shoot that. Why does it keep doing that every... Getting on my bike resets it? Well, that's different. Why is that a thing? Um, no, I, I didn't shoot the sheriff. And as a matter of fact, I haven't shot the deputy either. So I'm completely innocent. As a matter of fact, I don't think our sheriff has set up a deputy yet. So... Okay, these can blend into the environment. What do we paint those really quick? I'm just trying to get my... Do what? A tan awning here? Like that? I I'm kind of curious about what this is going to look like from far away, though. Okay, we've got that. We've got those. Um... Actually, nobody can shoot into this area, so... Should I make this a bright area to make it easier to distinguish you can't shoot into this line? And nobody can shoot from this line? It's basically like a... That kind of thing? Or do I go for blend it in and help people try to get from one section to another section without being seen? Hang on. Let me jump over here on top of this building. We were doing these. Um, hold on. Just a moment. Go against the wall. Hmm. Okay. From here. Where's Dago? Where's the one I painted? I don't guess it really matters, because that coloration doesn't really fit in either because of the shadows, so I guess that works. getting getting shot up okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a hmm. like that okay and then this we can just do it just just give me I don't actually honestly care what color the fence is. Sure. There. It's painted. Is this good? Boop, 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 boop. Sorry. Okay, those work, those work. Alright, that's the colors we're going to make it, and I'm going to stop right there because, yeah, I don't want to turn this into a painting or a building sim as of this second. What I need to do next is set up the other bit of, oh my gosh, other bit of information. Um, we need... We're gonna have to clear one of the buildings. It doesn't have to look great, but we're gonna have to clear one of the buildings for people to put in bedrolls and for us to put in chests to put in uh, what people are getting. I did not. I had total control. Ha! Hey, I found a thing. Cool. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. And... 
Oh, there's glass in the way. Okay. Just trying to figure out what the hell is doing. What was I doing? No! Alright. Do we replace the floor to stop the spawns? Um, I think this one only has like the one spawn. We're not gonna be able to do that for the whole town. Did I only go to Cobbler 1335? I have no idea. What do you mean, a Cobble, on which one? Mm. If we want to replace the floors in here, I, I don't remember if there's anybody upstairs, but this might be one to replace the floors in so people can lay down bedrolls, but after they lay down bedrolls, it counts as the floor being covered, does it not? Yeah, we could lay down a turret. Could do that. Uh... Land claim blocks and beds are about the only way to stop it. Yeah. Um, I think they've tested it. The player made blocks don't always work if the spawn is right above the block. Okay, we'll leave the fireplace here. If I'm not mistaken, that should be okay. Uh, if we want to, we can set a turret up. Oh my gosh, let me fix this. Um... By the time we get a chance to do the PvP, I'm pretty sure somebody is going to be running through killing bad guys anyway, so... And we'll be killing bad guys as we go through things, too. Okay, uh, we also need... Um, I need storage boxes. I don't have any nails. Did anybody bring nails or storage boxes? Let's go over here to the community area and see if anybody's got any. Or if I can make some nails so I can make some storage containers. I see lots of materials to make nails. Uh, that's got stone. Okay, we need iron going. So, I'll grab that. Uh, we got plenty of iron. No clay. forge next to the tree. Okay. Nice. I'll, I'll, I'll get this one going with some stuff too. Uh, we're probably going to need a secondary one though. What am I doing? Uh, do 500 nails. Uh, storage, secure storage, make them 10. Okay. Sorry, my comment was behind the time. Didn't realize I had lagged behind. Oh, okay. No problem. No problem. Yeah, the bed spawn stops the... It stops the POI from respawning. Uh... How 
many. Oh, geez. I do not have the proper storage containers. I want the writable storage containers. Paper? Plastic? Rotten flesh? Glass? Uh, writable storage. I'm going to set up an area for... I don't know how many people we're going to have PvPing at any one given time, but I need enough different containers for people to pick up and put down all of their personal stuff and pick up the stuff for the PvP match. Do we want red and blue for teams or red and black? That, that's what I was wondering. Uh, did anybody say anything about what colors over here too? I'm back with coffee for everybody. I did not get my coffee, Bredica. Staggummit. Dude. Uh, Mad Martigan has subscribed? Thank you so much for the subscribe. Um, I mean, you have to fancy the blue. Okay, so blue is one of the colors. I am partial to red, obviously. So red and blue for teams? It's all gone already. Dude, I didn't even get one. Okay, I also need signs, signs everywhere. There's signs. I forgot our uh, shapes can do <laughs> letters. I completely forgot about that. Guys, I forgot. Don't worry about it. Okay, so... Um... How many across is this? One, two, three... Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, it's not gonna center. Crimson would center. No one. No one. Thank God, man. Uh, I'm just gonna go with red. <sighs> Please do not collapse. Okay. Paint it. We will do... That. Okay. And we're gonna have to do that on the other side so the other team, the blue team, will have their coloration too. Red and black? Yeah, well... It's not just me PvPing, guys. I do appreciate it, but also black is gonna be very, very hard to see against, um... Red's going to be kind of hard to see, too, because there's going to be buildings that are red, but black is going to be, like, the hardest one for people to see in a video. If we do red and blue, it might be easier to see. Though the blue is kind of dark, too, depending on what you're wearing. Fine with black, too. Hmm. Well, I just did the red side. Red side... Not going anywhere because that's my color. So the other team's gonna have to pick their own color. <laughs> pink. Oh my gosh. Red and pink. How about a color not generally used? Purple. Green. Yeah, green. Red and green. Um, pink for Bam's team. Oh lord. Okay, how many containers do I have? 20? That should be enough for everybody, right? 
Yeah, one box per person to drop all their normal stuff. Yellow's not used very often either. Yeah, that's true. That could work. Okay. And then what we can do is each person would have one one place to put all their stuff. Uh, one place that's got all their armor and everything. And then one thing that's got... What, do armor and food or armor and whatever? Uh, let's do... Personal. Uh, make sure I unlock them. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, let me unlock these. Uh, it's gonna be outrageous with so many- that's all the boxes I'm gonna put in here. That's fine. It's not 3,000 boxes. You're disgusted. Take your skirt itself out of here, sir. Went out for coffee. Nice! Coffee, thank you. Feeling supercharged now. Um, I guess what we can do is each side, we're also going to put the bedrolls and stuff. Pants. <laughs> Pants against skirts? Is that what you're talking about? I need lots of bed rolls. Red versus green sounds like a Christmas elves battle. <laughs> uh, bed rolls, I can do a six. I think a good even ten ought to be enough. Yes. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. I'll set these inside. have like four person per team how many do we expect to be doing this how many do we have on here last time that we're actively playing did anybody know Oh my gosh. How many should we guess per team? I would say eight max per team.
because that would, if it's eight people per people, eight people max. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so sorry. Uh, we've got four on each side, four to five a team, probably. Okay, so we happen to have actually, yeah, four to five people on a team. I need an extra set here. What's another way I can do this that doesn't require... You know what? If we do it where we're basically like, putting all of this information in here, let people pick their own box, put their name on it, and then just put one box that's got, okay, here's your bed rolls, here's uh, some food, which chances are we're going to get killed enough to where we're not going to need a whole lot of food. But... Um, what I can do is that that should be absolutely max the most we need. Uh, I think. And everybody can get their bed rolls. Put it right here. Put some bed rolls in there, and we'll start loading it up with the stuff that we need for the actual PvP match. Um, do I need to change the name on here? <laughs> Not sure. Great. Oh. Planning. We planned. Uh... Logan, how you doing? Yeah, Chaplain, we didn't actually plan. It was more of a, we're going to set this town up, and then we just kind of ran with the idea. It's We are currently in the process of planning. That's exactly what this is. Um... Yeah, I'll work on that some more in a minute. Have Has the whole town been clear? I feel like I need to kill a couple of zombies, you know? Just make sure I'm keeping up with the norms and stuff. That stuff crapped in my pocket for a little while. Shoot some things, that kind of stuff. So you can just go crazy? That depends on what your version of crazy crazy is. I say this only because my daughter comes in here all the time seeing your stuff on Discord and she thinks you're an adorable psychopath, so I have to ask again, exactly what are we talking about? Uh, waiting for the snow. What? Where's it gonna snow at? Nakatomi Plaza in the middle of town. No, no. No Nakatomi Plaza in the middle of town. Um... Though each one of our teams is probably going to need like a setup like this, you know, just in case anybody wants to go crazy. You know, that it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have a workbench and a box full of like miscellaneous stuff in case they want to make something particular. But we're basically going to copy what I did on that side over here. Oh no, it's 404, so it's not found. We can't find today? What happened? All the buildings get cleared, guys? Uh, it looks like there's a box outside of each one of them, so yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, and y'all said something about the sheriff station. You saw the sheriff station. Where's the sheriff station in here?
Um, where is the sheriff's station? This is the day no one talks about. Where am I? Oh, the sheriff's. Here it is. Okay. Well, this is a very awkward spot. It puts it right in the middle of all of the gunfire. Oh no, I hear bad guys! We must go take care of the bad guys! Find you! Pretty sure I just shot you in the booty, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> Winter is not over up north. Yeah, that's 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 true, that's true. Uh, winter is still a little bit, you know, like every little bit here, just, you know, not wanting to leave. Uh Okay, uh Thinker do I um this is this is a mess. We're gonna have to clean this up for you. Um I'm gonna go ahead and get this. We need working doors on here because if anybody violates terms of service, uh Dinker has permission to put them in timeout. We should probably upgrade this whole building because if it's in the middle of the blast zone, it, it could get a little dicey, you know what I'm saying? And she probably also needs a lookout up top, you know? Yeah. Uh, where could we make the lookout? What does the roof look like here? Um... Oh, across the front, maybe along the back? Where, where do you think we should put a lookout? Maybe just like a little lookout station right here. Like a little tower that she can get up into, you know? I don't have my cobblestone on me. It's gonna have to be repainted though. And we probably need to put her some proper windows in here. I think I actually have a few left over at the house. <laughs> Mad upgrade sounds. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. There we go. and chains, I mean lock them up. Uh, well, Dinker, I guess it all just depends on what kind of sheriff you want to be. We're all getting together to shoot each other, so we can't really be the judge. Get this overhang. Those upgrades are sounding very aggressive back there. What's going on? Come on. Let me have the block. There we go. Done. Yes. Uh, 
I, I can't get to that block. That stuff's in the way. Torch upgrades, yes. I think in order for you to be able to lock the doors, Dinker, you have to make the doors, though. Oh, jeez. I keep upgrading random weird things. Okay, um, oh, I have no paint on me, thank you. Now this can be repainted, but just so everybody knows, this uh, this building gets, um, special treatment. Nobody ruins it. There. Arrest you now, Gray? <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm turning myself in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, what we need... A couple of doors. Um, I got a couple of extra chairs, I think, floating around. Hang on, they're probably in my vehicle. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, there you go. Just in case you need to do some extra interrogation or something like that. There we go. Um... This one against the wall. Okay, that seems to work. Though... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Nope. Not that. I don't know if I've got enough time to go back and get my stuff just now, you know? Turn that off. Ah, so much better. Okay, so that is the start of the PvP town. I'm going to spend some time this weekend actually working on it as soon as I can... I cannot work as late as I have been on the Alien Isolation edits because uh, I, I worked so late last night on it, I actually had, like, lucid dreams of Alien Isolation, which made it a very interesting attempt at trying to sleep last night. I don't think I'll be doing that. I'll, I'll get into the server and do a bit more building. Um, but that is the outline. Does anybody else have any suggestions? We can throw them in before uh, before we end it for the day. The one block, somebody else got it from the other side. Is it time to go? Uh, no, it doesn't have to be time to go. I just... Um, I, I don't want to keep building this whole time because I don't think some people find that fun to watch, so... No, I had absolutely no control over a Vixen. That's not what I mean. When I, when I say a lucid dream, I mean it was extremely vivid. Like, I wasn't actually sleeping. It felt like I was real, really there.
Anyway, um... What else can we get in? Yeah, is there like some quests or something? Anybody got a quest around here we can do? Just something to do? Here, I'm throwing my BS inside one of your boxes. Food and my water, though. Anybody got a quest? We can end on doing a quest. Anyone have. Ah, jeez. Okay, you can get one. Okay, Bernice is gonna Bernicus is gonna get us a quest so we can have something else to do besides build. I know not everybody finds the building and stuff fascinating, which is the reason why I'm just outlining it. But so people know what we're doing, I decided to do that. Oh, I'm still in debug menu. I was not meaning to do that. Uh hang on. Okay, that's off. Oh, I turn that back on. Everything off? Yes. Okay, now it's just me. Alright. Gamer dreams, yeah. Well, lucid... I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm, don't mean lucid that way. Lucid as in extremely vivid. Is what I was actually made on. We need quest. Who wants to go questing? Who wishes to go questing? Let's do a thing. Let's do a thing. I guess we probably should be patiently waiting for him to pick up a mission so we know where to go, huh? Gamer dreams if you play the same game for too long before bedtime. Yeah, but this time it wasn't even me playing the game. It was me editing the video. Granted, I spent 60... not 60. Um, six hours yesterday editing the video. So... <laughs> it, it's, it's a long video, guys. After putting the 11 live streams together, it's 34 hours worth of video I have to go through. I got six hours of it done yesterday. A lot of stuff to scrub through. Editing Liz was like, I don't know what you were doing, but don't do it again. Well, Stan, thank you for hanging out with us. We are a pretty chill community. As long as we're not being at, shot at, you know? Then things get a bit tense. Vivid dreams are nice but annoying. I just, it, it, I wake up feeling like I hadn't slept, basically. Where are we going? to go 2k away? Uh oh. How far out are we? I was not even paying attention. Uh oh. Oh, there's no... Oh. Uh, what tier? A 4 or a 5 if we can get one. A yeah four maybe. Oh my gosh, guys. I type as well as I talk. 
Editing Liz was making fun of me in my latest video that I put up for Liz Labs because I was talking so fast, and rather than cutting all of it out and making it seem coherent, she decided to highlight it as, hey, I have to take a breath. I should be taking a breath. And now everybody was laughing at me in the comment section saying, hey, do you know you were talking too fast? Can I give you a tip? Maybe if you didn't talk like you were on crack. Dude. Man. Ah, what? Why was the nail gun, though? Uh, I've not been on a server much, so I'm still at zero deaths, so I offer myself up as a reward for anyone who can get- whoever wins can kill me. That makes it seem like you can't shoot back, though, dinker do. Shouldn't it be they get a chance to attempt to kill you? It's near my home, so I'll be near home. Okay, okay, I can do that. Uh... Ah, it's 4k away, though. Um... Going back that way. Alright. I'm gonna start working my way back. If anybody wishes to join, we are going this way. Pick somebody up on Sharky. Uh, it, is, does everybody have a ride back? Oh my gosh! I just ran into all of the things. Uh, anyone need a ride? Nay one. Oh my gosh. Not anyone. Nay one. Aiko Aiko one eh? Oh. Jacques Mafina nane. I'm at the point in my day where I'm like, I don't know if I need extra caffeine or if I need a nap. <laughs> Wreck into an invisible tree. Oh, geez. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize that was shark crossing territory. <laughs> my bad. No, my character's not on acid. Um, if it's a PvP, would you gather screamers and to attack the other player, or is it still PvP? Ow! Ow, 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 ow! No! Hold on. Wait, wait for it. Or not. Smart aleck. I, I was fumbling in my pocket. It's fine. So are we going on Sharky? Oh lord. <laughs> yeah, that's adorable. If not acid induced. Yes. Okay. Um let's see. Is it PvE if you gather screamers to attack the other player or is it still PvP? Um I think that would be considered still PvP because someone gathered them to you. But if we call in screamers, we typically pause from the PvP action to take it out. Not that everybody follows that rule. Sometimes people get a sneaky back shot in. Can't imagine who's doing that. My bike? Did we just leave my bike? Just left my bike. Turn the shark around! <laughs> uh... 
I left my bike. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It's not even showing up. Um... Have I checked my pockets? My bad. Mike, how you doing? Everybody's gonna make it there before us because I decided to not have my bike on me. Is anybody else joining? Uh, still 2k away. Today we have the scenic flying shark tour. <laughs> Absolutely. This is like that scene in Aladdin, only not. No, oh, Vixen, it's okay. I, I wasn't even thinking about it. Uh, Chaplin, are you coming? Love the view from up here. Yeah, it's nice. Especially with the new town maps and everything like that, it's really nice. Ah, he's working on the sheriff's office. Okay, okay, okay. What kind of skyscraper is it? Is that the crack of book? Yep. Oh, that should be great for FPS. <laughs> Whoa, that scared me. Okay. Everybody have the mission? enough ammo. Uh, particularly if I first off put this one up because it's not gonna be very very helpful in there. But if I put my turret down. I didn't bring any repair kits though. Ah. 
Thank you, thank you. Okay, ready. There we go. This way? Yeah, uh, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh my gosh. Uh. Right here. Okay. She's dead, right? Yeah. <coughs> I shot one of the drones by accident? Uh oh. Poor drones! Yep. Out of the question. No stealth here. <laughs> Get the bad guys! Kill the bad guys! Uh-oh. Ah! Oh my gosh, dude! John Marshall has subscribed. Thank you so much for the subscribe. I hear bad guys? What? Okay, is that an upper level? Or... Oh boy. Ma'am, get the- oh my gosh. We're not gonna talk about what just happened. Okay. That- that's not working. There we go. Any bit of ammo there? I'm not gonna get that ammo pile right there. I mean, obviously, Bredicus gets first dibs at the like major loot, but we still need to, you know, get ammo back. Uh, which way? That way. Not that way? Um... Not this way? Okay. Where do we go now? That way? Okay. Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's a cool. It's cool. Just so you guys know, uh, my sound apocalypse, my zombie apocalypse is going to have sound effects produced by yours truly. I have a feeling that there's some bad guys in here. Excuse me, wake up! <laughs> Wake up, zombies! Is that it? Is that the... Oh, it's the one below us. Okay. Oh. Uh... There we go! Wakey wakey zombies! Zombies are trying to escape out the front door! Okay, he died. There's still one. Did he make it outside? Screamer? Group of bad guys come from. Um, bad guys. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa! 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 Bad guys right behind you, dude. Manager, I think these people need to have a talk with you. Ah! Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oop. Okay, right, guys, I do apologize. I'm, I'm pretty sure we are losing frames all over the place. There's a lot of zombies active right now. Ow, 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 ow. They sprained my leg. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I need something to fix the sprain. Stealthy sprinting? Okay. Screamer. Activate nobody, Brit. I was down here with you. I need, I need a, I need a splint. Oh my gosh, or duct tape and stuff. Oh my 
gosh. You know, the, the speed your character can go after your leg is broken is actually kind of ridiculous. Nothing. Nope. Nope. There's a Shamway box. What is the likelihood that I will find what I need in there? Thank you. I have to fix my leg. My leg is broke. <clears throat> okay, none of those things work. Uh oh. There's another zombie outside. Yeah, I think there is one that was stuck outside during all of that. But neither. I'm bringing any splits. No cast. Uh, I am the trader. I can stop by and see if they have any split. Okay. I'll walk around and continue checking random stuff and see if I can't find something. <laughs> At least you finished the quest. Oh, I didn't know we'd finished the quest. Um, if we finish the quest, if I can figure out a good way of uh, getting out of here, you know, that it doesn't include going through all of the BS right there, I could go find a splint. I'm not that far away from my base. Um... I'm squeezing out the front door. <laughs> Split. S L I P N T. Yep. What? There's a bit of a horde out here, though. Okay. Are you serious? You're like, I see you mowing down my buddies over there. Let me just put my face right in your face and see how that turns out. The great idea, right? Oh boy. Okay, let's run home. Actually, I think I've used up a ton of my splints during the PvP match that we did on the server. So... I think I do have a splint or a cast or something, but in order for me to get a health bar, I'm going to have to go over to the horde base. Uh, dang it. Bam.
Oh, nice. Uh, I'm gonna slowly make it. Oh my gosh. He's got a health bar. The last zombie was a screamer? I have no idea. I don't know who got the last zombie. Oh, come on. The slow walk of shame. You can make a splint now? I'm, I'm like right here at my box now. Um. Oh, that, that's full. Hold on. Uh, drop. This random little bit of stuff. Ow. Oh, and... Honey? Fine. There we go. A splint. 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 It's just the speed that my brain works at. It doesn't work for my fingers or my mouth. Okay, and Bernicus said he had... Wait, where'd he go? Got a health bar for me? On the way back. to use these so I can walk without hurting my leg. Uh, floor, ground floor. Where's everybody at? Ah. Weird thought. Is there a boss screamer? There should definitely <clears throat> be more bosses. Uh, like, Grace is kind of a boss? Sort of. There should definitely be more bosses. Thank you, thank you. This will speed, speed up the healing process by a bunch. Thank you, thank you all. Okay, so all loot done. That's a big generator. What's in here? I think this was like the room that I checked out the other time and there's like one bag or something. Unless somebody's already got it. Nope. Nobody's got it. A tier 6 steel club. Not bad. Everybody got so quiet. Yeah, everybody got really quiet. Not sure why. Buy up everything out of there? Oh, okay. 
Well, if everybody's already done getting all the loot out of here, I guess we're done. Oh, correct book box? Okay, we good? How do we get out? You said that there was a door down here where we could get out? Is that? That chest making noise. What am I looking at? Radicus! You're in the doorway, dude! Okie dokie. Well, we finished a mission. Let's go talk to the trader, 1.7 kilometers away, and see what we're gonna get for doing it. Where to park? Oh, I didn't get anything out of the big chest. I, I didn't stick around to do any of the looting, so I didn't touch any of the loot. I'm gonna go turn it in so I can get back to base. Okay. He's not late, he just got up. Who's late? Who just got here? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to party, but there we go. I can turn in this mission and hopefully... Yeah, Gray, just go ahead and grab all of it. Um, there were two books in there I could have used, but as I didn't actually do any of the looting or and that was, wasn't my mission, I just didn't touch anything. I know Brakas was just gonna leave it all in there. Dead gummit. Nah, I'm already all the way over here. Let's gonna turn this mission in, assuming I can actually make it before we hit nightfall. Son is on his way to your house. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Ah, okay. It's cool. It's chill. Just ran into someone's parked car, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. What two books? The machine gunner books. I don't. I don't have those. Ah. An SMG or military leg armor? That's a tough choice. I kind of want to go light armor because I'm not using my steel knuckles anymore as much anymore. I kind of want the SMG though. I'll take the SMG. I need to make it home because there's a couple of things that whenever I get back on here I'm gonna need to make so I can take out there to the PvP area and I need to get those going before I get off of here so they'll have a chance to make is this the way I normally drive absolutely are you talking about in real life or on this game on this game, I don't pay attention to nothing. 
It's the apocalypse. If I'm going to die driving on a bike, then that's better than a zombie bike, right? And my car insurance person is going to be like, uh, I think we need to raise her rates. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Please tell me there's a cut through back here somewhere. Oh no. Dead gummits. It's freaking fences, man! Fine. Ah! I knew that was there. Um, <clears throat> so I guess one of the things I probably need to do is raid the Savage Country a couple of times. I need to figure out what size POI that is so I can raid it. A few times over and over and over again and get a whole bunch of dyes so we can dye the team colors. And I guess we need to figure out who all is interested in PvP for next Wednesday evening and have our... Uh, we need to split up a teams. Two teams. I think it's a tier 3. I think I've got tier 3 open. I'll try and see if I can't farm it a little bit this weekend, because I need the uh, levels anyway, so it's fine. We are home! Who's here? Oh, 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 oh. Great. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Uh, the problems with reading chat and driving. Exactly. Um, <laughs> I could drive a little bit better if I wasn't. When I'm sitting on a vehicle and going from point A to point B is the perfect time for me to try and catch up on chat. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and end it here. Like I said, next Wednesday, we're going to try and have this ready to go. We'll see whether or not that's going to happen. That's usually going to be over there on Twitch. And of course, we're going to bring the videos over to YouTube as soon as, um, as soon as I've got time to actually cut them down because I'm currently in the process of cutting down something that's a whole lot bigger. So we'll see. What do you mean I'm all paranoid, Chaplin? I can't imagine why I would be paranoid and locking all of my doors behind me and checking the floor for explosives. I'm just going to stare at the screen a long time. I want you to understand. It's for you, Chaplin. Anyway, uh, we're going to call it here. I will see you guys next week um, over on Twitch if you decide to join us over there or... Depending on whether or not we play on here on Friday, I don't really know exactly what's going on with the TNP server. We'll get updates as it happens. So I'll see you next time. You have a wonderful day, wonderful night.